The defending champions, they were in action last night in Minnesota. Let's head there now. Steph Curry and the Warriors visiting the Timberwolves. Klay Thompson finds Steph Curry. You can't leave him open from three. Splash, you know that's good. And then a minute later here, Steph looking, finds Klay Thompson. Whoo, Klay is heating up in this one. And then the next possession here, Klay Thompson in transition, hits another three. But watch here. Clay is celebrating, got the goggles going. Jordan Poole drives, lays it in off the glass. And Draymond Green hopping onto the court, doing a little dance, excited for his teammate. He would get teed up oh, for God. that. Ridiculous. And Rescinded. he said no. So then one more time, Dante DiVincenzo. He hits the three. <laughs> and then Steph Curry, is this a protest? <laughs> yeah. Is this a celebration? He gets a tee. You get a tee. You get a tee. You get a tee. You got money for it. Everybody gets a tee. The Warriors win 137-114. <laughs> Here's what they had to say about the technicals. Draymond got a technical at the end celebrating. Uh, Steph got a technical at the end celebrating. Yeah. Did you think about it? Did you think about what in, sol in solidarity? Do you think I will willfully give up my money? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Great game, Clay. <laughs> Crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. I probably got like four texts this year that's a little questionable. But, nice to have stuff out of your back. Uh, absolutely. 100%. You told me I was at the lane line. I thought I was standing in the corner, so I don't know. Sucks, though. Um, it's the NBA, man. You, you, your teammates make a good move. I didn't affect the play. Like, there's no one near me. You know, so, um, <clears throat> sucks. And the fact that that's going to count against my tech count, like, come on, it's ridiculous. I have I have thoughts here, but Matt, you, you got a lot of technicals. Let's uh. Look at your yeah, I mean, as Dang. someone who accumulated a lot of technical fouls over my career, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, hopefully, it'll be rescinded. Right. And, and for someone like me and Draymond, like. We have to earn our text because everyone is going to count. So we know if this is not rescinded, <laughs> this could come in harmful. But what I liked was, obviously, it was a ridiculous call on Dre. But I like that Steph had his back. Just that, you know, this is, there's been so much. Does this team still mess with each other? Do they still respect Dre? I think all that was just chatter. This team's starting yes. to find their rhythm. They have each other's back. They understand that the road is coming to an end shortly. So they have to make the most of this time. That's very nice. And I think that's, like, I think that's great like, that yeah. Steph had his back, and I think that it's a wonderful <laughs> moment and all that stuff. But come on. Like, this is just, it's silly. It's silly. For the I league think, or for the Warriors? For the league. Oh, absolutely. It is so absolutely. much fun. Oh, I understand, yeah, two, things. I understand two things. I understand yeah. two things. Number one, you want safe play. He said he doesn't want to affect the play. No one was anywhere near him. Yeah. Number two, I also understand that there's new decorum rules this year yeah. and that the fans who pay a lot of money to sit courtside, they don't want their view to be impeded. I would want to see that yeah. if I am sitting. It's what's that fun. That ref was mad that about working on a Sunday is what's afternoon. Fun. If someone is able to do a backflip, I, I want know. to see the backflip, Mark. Like yeah. I think the celebration should be big and loud and fun. But you know what, too? <laughs> Draymond told me last week he had a huge appreciation mm for his time with Clay and Steph and Iguodala. Yeah, and on, man. that needs to be talked about more, Absolutely. their success together. And so I'm sure he really appreciated, like Steph don't get texts. Right. Now. right. He got money, he's Love good. It. Oh, what? But, but to show his <laughs> brother his back like that, that's something they're going to talk about Absolutely. 20 years from now. And I I love that. This is emblematic of the Warriors sort of laughing in everyone's faces in a respectful way because we know, I say there are a few guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but like the Warriors are the same. Mm. They're killers with smiles on their faces. And so they're happy, but they're yeah. really playing the game the right way and yeah. they're feeling like themselves. And so how do they show that? It's like, oh, I've got your back. These are the little things that they do. Yeah, the to show. Them a month yeah. ago. They People, everyone will laugh at them, them but, but now they feel yeah. what? they want to have the last It's laugh. translating yeah. to winning. They've won five of their last That's, six yeah. games and in their yeah. Wins. They've scored over 125 points per game with over 23s made. So, so, Mark, what has been the difference in this stretch? Well, Draymond also told me last week, he said they've been trying to figure things out as a team. They've been using different players of promise, and there's so many new guys. They're trying to get used to each other, but I think they're finally getting a camaraderie together. Uh, and he said the key has been more experience together, hard work, and correcting things is still early in the season. And I think now they're figuring it out and they're figuring out the rotation. I don't want to make any super sweeping judgments here, but Vince, do you think the Warriors have, have turned a corner? They're, they're one game over 500 here. 
Well, I, I think the huge thing is that these young guys are, you know, well, I'm going to say Jordan Poole first. The guys are buying into what their role is, should be, or will be for this team. Yeah, everybody has that goal in the beginning of, oh, I'm going to be this and this until the coach kind of establishes who you are or who you will be for your team. Right. And once you buy into that, your team can move over, particularly the younger guys. I think they're hitting their stride. And I like the fact that they're getting that technical. I like the fact that they're cheering and pushing yes. the envelope because what we talked about earlier when they were losing are their five individuals. Are they still the Golden State Warriors as a team? Mm. And we're seeing that. We're seeing Draymond, who is cheering for, you know, for, for, for the young fella after their situation, which we didn't know if that was really a situation or not. Is it pushed to the side? We're seeing all that. And then you're seeing Steph having his back, who doesn't get technicals. So you're seeing a lot of camaraderie here in a different way, in a different way, which I think is great for this team, yeah. particularly how they've been playing and they haven't played well on the road, and this is all happening on the road. This mm. is what you build your team on the road. This is where you build togetherness, and I like what I'm seeing. I blame Mikael Bridges. Ever since he hit a three and threw that three sign oh. up in Clay's face, Clay's been you averaging 25 uh, yes. and nearly six threes a game, <laughs> to 56 to percent from the people line, and they're five and zero. Oh. Blame Mikael Bridges for this hot. Yes, hotness. that's a hundred thousand percent. Clay has showed up, and guess Come what? On, Everyone man. else has done. Quit playing with Clay's name. Got quiet. Quit playing Got with Clay's quiet. Name. Yes, Clay. maybe yeah, the defense man. will take Don't a little bit longer Clay. for him to get his legs. But for that mm. shot, Come he's on, finding it. He's been going crazy. Quit as, playing with Clay. as Matt said, 46% from three in the last 10 games, and 21 points per game. And once Clay gets going, I mean, you don't yeah. want to poke. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.